What's going on guys? So you may have heard in the news recently, a lot of people talking about federal rate cuts, and we wanted to just give you a quick update on that and explain kind of what that is and how it affects you as the consumer. Stop with the money on that dumb shit and instead put it in investment. I know it's tempting to spend it and be broke again. So what are Federal Reserve rate cuts? Federal Reserve has a target fund or a rate interest rate that banks charge each other to borrow back and forth. Yeah. If the Federal Reserve wants to stimulate the economy, they lower that Fed rate because it is cheaper to borrow money. So yeah. a lot of people go out and borrow money. But if they want to slow down the economy, like for when inflation's taken off lately, they increase that rate. So it becomes very, very expensive to borrow money and people don't want to do it as much. Yeah, so it kind of makes sense. When things are cheaper to borrow, people are going to spend more. So obviously, if the bank's getting charged a lower rate, we're getting charged a lower rate. Now, <laughs> you may be wondering, well, why don't they just do that more often? Wouldn't you always want people spending more money, the economy be flourishing and everything? Well, it's kind of that kind of balancing act right there, because if you cut rates, you know, the inflation may spike. And if you wait too long to cut them, the economy could suffer even more. And it's kind of finding that balance. Yeah. That's kind of why you heard maybe in a recent interview or, you know, we're telling you about it now. <laughs> Jerome Powell came out and said they're probably not going to be making as many cuts as a lot of people are anticipating. The economy or the market and, you know, Wall Street, they were kind of expecting five-ish, six cuts throughout the year. Right. Uh, he came out and said it's probably going to be more like three just because they want to see more of the history of inflation going down towards 2%. All the numbers have been pretty good lately. They just want to see it for longer so a lot of people were expecting that first uh cut maybe to come in march they said we'll probably discuss it in march but don't expect the first cut then so why do you care what does this mean how yeah. does this affect you that's the most important question right and same for us that's why we look into it or follow how is this going to affect us mm -hmm. so just like taylor mentioned if the federal reserve cuts the federal fund rate that means banks can borrow at a cheaper rate which means they usually pass that down to us. We can get cheaper auto loans. Your credit card interest will probably drop a little bit. More um, uh, They're not directly affected, but they usually are affected. They're affected by the bond rate. And so with that, you're going to want to spend, theoretically spend more money. And so the Federal Reserve has to be very careful when they decide to cut rates because if inflation's still too high and then they drop them really fast, everybody's gonna jump back into the market, start buying houses, start using credit cards, and then all over again, inflation takes off. So they're keeping it a little bit longer, but once they do, you'll start seeing that interest rate on the credit cards come down. HELOC interest rates will start coming down a little bit. Um, your savings account, your high yield savings account will also come down a little bit. Yeah. So there are some good and bads. You'll have to look at that basically once they start cutting rates to see how you're affected. But for the most part, almost everybody will be affected. Mm -hmm. um, you'll have, like I said, the HELOCs, the credit cards, all of those will start dropping a little bit, which will help a lot of people. Yeah. And the big thing everyone's talking about, interest rates for mortgages and everything, uh, it will have some more of an effect there. So mortgage rates will go lower. And you'd be surprised just how much a couple uh, interest points right there affect how much a monthly payment becomes. Definitely. So what people are able to get qualified for and what house they're able to afford completely changes if that happens. So that's just kind of a brief explanation of what's happening, kind of the updates how it affects you as the consumer. So we kind of want to just get that out there because I know it is, like Ryan said, kind of a hot topic right now. And but, everybody's looking at the mortgage rates and expecting those to dr drastically come down as well. Just know they're not directly affected. So just because they lower the Fed rate, doesn't it means your credit cards will come down, but it doesn't mean the mortgage rates will come down just as fast or just as much because they're indirectly affected. But we appreciate you guys tuning in. Be sure to tune in next week for more videos. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. We really appreciate it. See you guys in the next video. Stop with the money on that dumb shit and instead put it in investment. I know it's tempting to spend it and be broke again.